I've loved the mandolin since I was a little boy. Back years ago, living in, on Hickory Chapel Road in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Uh, I'll never forget the first time I saw Bill Monroe on the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, looking at all the scrolls on the mandolin, I was enthralled by the, by the shape and design of the scroll, and the sound was just amazing. And it, ever since then, it's a passion that's never died. Matter of fact, it, gets, it grows. Many of you know me as a master luthier that has built guitars and mandolins for musicians all over the world. But what you don't know is I had my humble beginnings in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where I made pocket knives, pipes, and walking canes. There's another part of my story that most people doesn't know. And that even though I was considered one of the top musical instrument makers in the industry, because of life circumstances, there was a moment where I felt like giving up, and I came within seconds of doing it. And just like Noah, God was preparing me for the rain, but in the darkest moment of my life, I couldn't see it. And this is the story I want to share with you. So if you like watching beautiful things being made, if you love beautiful music, or you just need a story of hope, then come along with me on Mandolin Rain.